What's up YouTube, it's Intour Sports coming back with another video and wow, what a half of football. So I usually don't do uh, videos like very quickly like this, but this felt like an entire game I just watched and it's only half time. There's still another half of this to go. That was one of the great, probably the craziest half of football I've ever watched. It was insane. So I'm going to break it down real quick. I'm going to tell you all what to look for in the second half and what I thought about this first half. So from the opening, from the jump, Texans got the ball. They won the coin toss. They decided to get the ball. Right away, a little uh, trick kind of screen. They were going to do a bubble screen. They faked that, and then uh, the cornerbacks bit on Kansas City, and Kenny Stills is wide open for a touchdown. So it started off 7 nothing within the first like minute of the game <clears throat> so that happened so it was already momentum Houston then the very next drive Kansas City goes three and out and when they punt the ball away punt is blocked Texans scoop and score 14 nothing just like that very soon after Tyree Kill has a punt return they bring him back and he drops it. He drops it, and Texans get the ball right back. Then Deshaun Watson uh, was, you know, at the 10-yard line. He throws to Fells, the tight end, and he scores. 21 nothing. This game is over. I was texting back with some people. I'm like, this game's over. Like, there's, n it's amazing. This is an Arrowhead in Kansas City. The game was over. It was. It was, I just, I was, I'm speechless right now, and I was speechless when I was watching this. But then all of a sudden, the second quarter rolls around. Patrick Mahomes is down 21 points. It's the most in his career. And he just starts lighting everything up. I am, I was shocked. I was just like, how is he doing this? He scored three touchdowns to Kelsey, threw it to Kelsey, and one to the running back, Damian Williams. I just I just couldn't believe it. He just was going nuts after a first quarter where they had like four or five drops in the first quarter, as well as two turnovers. He just he just goes on fire. He just throws it all over the field to Kelsey. Um, Tyree Kill gets walloped on one in the first quarter. He's okay and he keeps playing. I just couldn't believe what I was watching. Mahomes was. What happened to the Texans in the first quarter happened to the Chiefs in the second. Like, everything just went their way. The Texans just folded, and they were trying to do too much. The Texans went for it on fourth and two, I think, from their own, like, 30-yard line. Like, what are you doing? Like, you're up. Why do you feel like you need to do a trick play? That was the turning point for me when they did the trick play. Kansas City got momentum. Like, why would you do that? That's so stupid. Anyway, but right now, it's, it was a great half of football. Right now, the score, and they just scored, Kansas City did. And it's now 28-24 to 24 after the Texans missed a field goal to, at half with like a couple seconds left in the half. They missed the field goal. It is now 28-24, Kansas City, after them being down 21 to nothing and 24-7. to seven. It is now a 28-24 ball game. They scored 21 straight points after the Texans scored 21 straight points. And I honestly have no idea who's going to win this game. All momentum rides with Kansas City. They get the ball to start the second half. So I'm going I'm going to predict Kansas City wins this game. It's at home. They have the momentum. They get the ball the second half. And it's really, we're going to really see at the beginning of the second half what Kansas City is all about. If they come down and they score a touchdown and they put a 35-24 lead, I think that's all she wrote. I don't think the Texans are a good comeback team. They're, they're great usually when they get a lead, but they lost that lead now. And coming back, especially if they're down 11, that's not going to be good for them. So I just that's my first half recap. Um, as you all can see, I'm back at college now, so this is probably going to be the setup for a lot of my videos. Um, so that is why the background looks like this now. Um, so that's that was my recap of the first half of the Kansas City Houston Texans game. I just think the Texans cannot come back if it gets 
If Kansas City scores on the opening drive, I think Kansas City wins, and I think they win anyway. I just don't think the Texans are a very good team when they have to come back and get a lead. I will say the receiving core looks great for the Texans. Well, four is a huge difference maker to have him back. Just another weapon for Deshaun Watson. But one thing I do want to say is their running game on the Texans have has not been that good today. Um, it's kind of both teams throwing the football. Carlos Hyde has done a little bit. And then on the Chiefs side also, their running game is not doing good at all today. It's all Mahomes in the running game. Their running backs, I don't know the exact number, but I think it's less than 10 yards other than Mahomes for running the ball. So that is not going to cut it. So they need to start running the ball a little bit more. I know Mahomes is great, but I do think in the second half they need to run the ball more. And I don't blame them for not running the ball because they were down 21 nothing. But now that you have a lead, I think you need to start running the ball more. Maybe get some jet sweeps with Hardman or Tyree Kale. Um, it doesn't have to be from Williams, uh, the running back, but they definitely do need to start running the ball a little bit more. I want to also mention, uh, I do want to talk about the game last night. It was the Ravens-Titans. The Titans upset the Ravens 28-12. to That was also a crazy game. I was watching that one too. I was a little too tired to make a video, but um, I was thinking about it, and I definitely want to talk about it now. Uh, the Titans exposed the Ravens. I think finally it was a great. It was great to see because, I mean, great to see meaning like that, the Titans were able to do that and overcome being a six seed. I don't mean the Ravens falling. I just mean the Titans being able to beat a team like the Ravens. It means that you know the NFL is stacked from top to bottom. Really, I mean, in these playoffs, and every team has been good in the playoffs. There really hasn't been a bad team in these playoffs it's proving to be um so the titans did what they needed to do they didn't even pass for 100 yards last night and they were able to beat the ravens doing their own game and beating the ravens at their own game also running the football and making lamar throw the ball he threw the ball 50 times 50 something times 49 can't remember exactly but i think it was 50 something they made him throw the ball a lot, a lot more than he wanted to. He had great stats. He had over 100 rushing yards and over 300 passing yards. But a lot of those were at the end of the game where they were the Titans were kind of playing prevent defense. So I don't really take a lot from that. Um, and Lamar just couldn't make the throws he needed to to get his team really back in the game. And the Titans just did a great job making him run outside instead of run inside. Um, Lamar still had over 100 yards on the ground, but they made him run all those yards were tough yards, and I think it took a toll on him in the end. Um, so that's all I'm going to say about that. I think the Titans have a great chance of making the Super Bowl no matter who they play. Their style of play will work against Kansas City and Houston, I feel like, because neither have really great run defenses, even though today uh, Kansas City hasn't run on Houston at all. But they really haven't tried to I don't feel like I feel like they need to get it back into the game so they've been passing a lot um, so but I think the Titans definitely will run the ball and can run the ball against Kansas City or Houston so I picked the Chiefs to make the Super Bowl but if they win this game the Titans are going to give them a heck of a fight I think the Titans have a real shot at the Super Bowl so I have, I have the Chiefs and Packers for my Super Bowl picks but I would not be surprised if the Titans get there I don't think the Texans can get there. I just, I don't think they'll win this game today. But I also don't think this will be the Titans and Texans third game against each other in six weeks or so, five weeks. So that would be pretty crazy if that actually happened. But I think the Titans run game will just overpower the Texans uh, not so great run defense. So that, those are uh, kind of my reactions. Um, to the games that have been going on this weekend and uh, look for vi more videos soon. I have um, a couple more uh, NFL videos that are waiting to be posted so look for those in the near future. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. So one more thing I want to say. I don't have any equipment, any mic or anything so this might not be the best quality but I wanted to update you all as, as uh, closely to the actual game as I can. So right now it is 34-24 Kansas City after Kansas City went down and scored a touchdown within four minutes, three and a half minutes, something like that. 
Um, so now they missed the extra point. Um, but it is 34-24 now. So like I said, if I thought if Kansas City scored, uh, they would win the game. And so far, it looks to be going good. I just see now that Kelsey, Travis Kelsey, looks to be limping a little bit. So we'll, uh, I'll keep an eye on that. Um, but yeah, I think, and I was wrong actually, that uh, Kansas City Chiefs were losing 24 to nothing. So now they've scored 34 unanswered points. Um, so that's something, an interesting fact. But anyway, I'll end the video here. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.